Hey guys and welcome to another how to video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at shotgun status chance and how the actual chance displayed in game can be fairly misleading as to how effective a status build is and how much elemental damage you're going to lose to achieve that status build. Now I'm going to start this video out with an apology. The mechanics to do with shotgun status are not how I describe them in the heck video. I completely misunderstood the way shotgun status works and how to actually calculate it. As a result of this, I sat down the last couple of days working with the status calculations formula and learning how this works so I can try to, um, to atone for my error and to help you guys understand it as well. Now when you look at status chance on a shotgun, it's very important to note that the chance is worked out as a chance per pellet, as per the equation that's in the description below the video. Now I'm not going to go through all the numbers, be pretty much for your sanity as well as mine, However, it basically works out that the heck with base 25% status has a 4.03% chance per pellet to prop a status prop. However, the interesting numbers come when you work out a full status build. Now, in terms of actually how status increasing mods work on status, is that they bring that base status chance of the weapon up that it is on before it's split down into individual pellets. So, for example, on the heck, three dual stat mods bring the base status up to 70%, which after the calculation works out to about 16% chance per pellet to provide a status prop. So even then, while the base status might look high, each pellet, each individual pellet, still has an 84% chance of doing nothing at all. On top of that, shotguns have pellets that miss due to inherent spread. Also, if you start introducing things like vicious spread onto them, and it essentially makes them less effective at procking status than a fast firing rifle, even with a low status chance. And this is pretty much the reason why I don't do status builds on shotguns, unless you can reach that magic number of 100% status before multi shot, at which point every single pellet will proc for status. At, well, for that to be possible, the base status of a weapon needs to be 30% or higher for even 4 dual stat mods to be able to take it to 100%. Now I know that the heck, you end up with 29 or 30 pellets, each with a 16% chance to proc. But remember, every single pellet has an 84% chance to do nothing at all. And is it really worth losing effectively a 90% elemental mod? By dropping them down to those 60% um, dual stats. Now, of course, this also applies to secondary shotguns or even the Actagara. Now, in terms of what I was saying in the heck video, although I got the mass wrong, the chance is split between each pellet as I just shown. However, where I went wrong is how I understood how it gets represented in game, and obviously the use of multi shot. Now the way the game represents the status chance for shotgun is by the second equation that I've linked in the description below. Where I went wrong before is that I thought multi shot was included in the first equation in terms of the pellet count. Didn't take into account that it's only the, ba the base pellet count in that, first, um, in that first equation. And that doesn't include multi shot. In all honesty, the total status chance after multi shot isn't really worth looking at. Since each of the pellets, even with multi shot, it keeps the base status chance. So you still get 29 or 30 pellets with 4.03% with no dual stats and the 16% with the, uh, the three dual stat mods. So the multi shot doesn't actually affect the status chance at all. Only the percentage chance that at least one pellet will proc something. And that's actually what the in-game number is actually showing. The percentage chance that at least one pellet is going to proc something. So hopefully this gives a bit of an indication as to how status actually works on shotguns. And how while it might look like the numbers are good. Like the heck with a 92% status chance showing in-game. Or the Boar Prime with the three dual stat mods now showing as 98% in-game. In reality, it doesn't work like that. Although the weapon might say 92% chance in game or 98% chance in game, with 92%, every pellet still has that 84% chance to prop nothing at all. And that's with a 3 dual stat build. 
the status numbers on shotguns are seriously misleading. They're not very easy to understand, and I hope this video has helped to clear up some of the reasons why I don't like status on shotguns, and why I find them not only to be misleading, but also fairly bad to mod for. Pretty much in summary, only 100% status chance on shotguns is truly efficient, and only shotguns with that 30% status chance or more can even hope to achieve that. Even still, four dual stats isn't particularly realistic because you can't then mod per faction. So if you look in the description below, I have put the status chance per pellet for an unmodded weapon and for a weapon with all four dual stat mods, which, as I've said, isn't particularly realistic in the first place, but uh, you can see what the numbers are with a full status build. So you can make a decision as to whether you feel status is worth it or not. It's best to remember though that the status build includes 4 dual stat mods, which does mean that you essentially lose a combined 120% elemental damage from switching to those mods. So one, while some of them might look alright, or even fairly decent, it might still not be the best thing to do because you're sacrificing a lot of damage to do it. But remember, this is only my opinion on the matter. If you feel that the potential status increase is right for you, then by all means go for it. Only you can decide how you feel best to mod and how to play for yourself. So massive props for those of you that have actually made it to the end of the video. Normal service in terms of builds will be resumed in the next couple of days or so. Huge, huge thanks go out to my clan mate Frostino who helped a ton with this video. Was absolutely fantastic help getting my head around this. Mass isn't my strong suit, so it was always good to have someone that knew what they were doing with mass to try and help me out a little bit. So take care guys, and I shall see you in the next video.